Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Said. In this video, I am going to explain a very useful method, the Adomian decomposition method to solve differential equation. This method is first introduced by George Adomian in 1980. And this Adomian decomposition method is a powerful method and you can solve not only ODs by this method, but PDs can also be solved by this method. Even you can solve integral equations and fractional differential equations by using this Adomian decomposition method. And it can solve linear differential equation as well as non-linear differential equation. And since the name suggests Adomian decomposition method, it decomposes the unknown functions in the form of an, of an infinite series. That's why the solution obtained is always as an infinite series which converges rapidly towards its exact solution. So how this method works? Let's take a differential equation, order differential equation. In this video, I will explain Adomian decomposition method on an order differential equation. But in the coming video, I will take partial differential equation as well. So take a differential equation of the form d of y is equal to some known function f of x and with given initial conditions or boundary conditions. So d here is a differential operator which may contain some first order differential operator or high order differential operator. It may contain some linear term and some nonlinear term. So I will split this differential operator into three terms. First I will take the linear term I will call L of y and then I will take some r term and then I will take some n of y is equal to f of x. Here L represents the linear term. Normally we will take the linear term which is the higher order and which can be easily inverted. So L inverse exists and R is the remaining linear term and n represents the non-linear term which is appear in the differential equation. For example, if we have a differential equation like d square y by dx square plus 2 times dy by dx plus y and minus y square is equal to e raised to power x. So if we have a such differential equation, so here I will take L as d square by dx square so that its L inverse exists and in this case it will be just the double integral of the function with initial conditions let's take from 0 to x and I will take r as the remaining linear term which is here just d by dx and n of y will be the non-linear term which is in this case is y square. So this is how I will submit my differential operator into these three, three terms where L is the main operator whose inverse exists. So applying this L inverse on this equation I will get L of L inverse of L of Y and shifting remaining terms on the right hand side. So L inverse of F of X and then minus L inverse of R of Y and then L inverse of N of Y. Now since f of x is a given function and applying L inverse on f of x will generate some other function let's call it g of x and on the left hand side this L inverse cancels out L so I am left with y of x is equal to some function g of x and minus L inverse of r of y and then minus L inverse of n of y where g of x is the function generated by this L inverse on the function and given initial conditions or boundary conditions. Okay, now we need to suppose that we need to come decompose as the name suggests of the operator, this differential operator method. We will convert the y term, the unknown function in the form of infinite series. So let y is equal to summation from n 0 to infinity y of n. So it is just basically y naught plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 and plus so on. So we will 
gather all these species we will find each species and we'll collect the term y here okay and now i will take the nonlinear term here which is n of y for the nonlinear term i need to take an infinite series n from 0 to infinity some special polynomial i will call it an these an polynomials are actually called adomian polynomials adomian polynomials and these polynomials will only be used if we have a nonlinear term n of y so everywhere where y is here we will take this series but if we have a nonlinear term so in that nonlinear term we will take this special infinite series which have a domain decomposition a domain polynomials which can be defined by a n is equal to 1 over n factorial d n by d lambda n of some k from 0 to n y k lambda k and evaluated at evaluated at lambda equal to 0 so from this formula we will find domain polynomials and we use these polynomials for nonlinear term only okay now plugging everything back into our last equation we get as you can see that we'll have here y of x which have this series so it's summation n from 0 to infinity y of n of x is equal to some function g of x and minus l inverse of r into y which have again series form n from 0 to infinity y of n and then minus l inverse n of y and here the y represents this infinite series since this is a nonlinear term so n from 0 to infinity a n okay now from the left hand side since we need to compare these terms so just changing the index in only the series which is on the left hand side so i am just replacing n by n plus 1 so in this series it will become summation and now since n is replaced by n plus 1 so n will not start from 0 but from negative 1 to infinity and y and n becomes n plus 1 of x this helps me to get an iteration relation so that i can iterate the relations as many time to get the unknown terms for y so on the right hand side everything will remain as this g of x and minus we can put this series outside and this becomes summation from n0 to infinity l inverse of r of y n and same here series comes outside n0 to infinity and l inverse of n of a n okay now since we need to compare the series on both sides so all these series must start from the same starting point here n start from 0 here n from 0 but since here n does not start from 0 so we need to open this series for one term so when n is negative 1 this becomes y naught of x and then writing the other terms and n here starts from 0 to infinity y n plus 1 of x is equal to g of x and again collecting these two terms since it has the same series so we can write it in combined form n from 0 to infinity and inside l inverse r of y n and minus l inverse l inverse n of a n so we can okay now comparing the both series on both side we get this y naught of x will equal to this g of x and for the remaining terms we can take y n plus 1 of x will be equal to l inverse r of y n and minus l inverse n of a n where n start from 0 1 2 3 
and so on so this is my iteration scheme which i will follow one by one like i will i will take n0 in this equation the second equation it will give y1 and since n is 0 i will use this relation here and i will get y1 and then i and i will take n1 and if plugging here i will get y2 which depends on the previous term y1 and so i can find y2 and hence i can find y3 and y4 and y5 so i can find different terms of y and then i can put the terms back into our assumed solution and i will get like so having all these known terms if we can collect first n terms so it becomes like if i take n from 0 to some capital n and i take y n like n capital n may be 5 so it means i'm just collecting first five terms and then it will be approximate solution of y of x because i'm taking only finite number of terms but in case if i'll take all the terms infinite terms it will be then an exact solution which is limiting case capital n goes to infinity and summation from n 0 to capital n of y of n so here you can see that i have flexibility i can get even an approximate solution if i am just taking only finite number of terms but in case series have some nice closed form this can also give me an exact solution of the given differential equation so this has both the flexibilities so this is a method this is how it works this is the scheme of the method in order to get full idea of the method let's take one example let's take example dy by dx is equal y square with condition y of 0 is 1 okay here it can be written as dy by dx minus y square is equal to 0 and here you can see that f of x is actually 0 there's only one term so I will take L as dy by dx since there is no other linear term R will be 0 and n term the non linear term is y square okay so writing in this form here L is d by dx and hence L its L inverse exists and it is equal to the integral of function whatever it is a function with respect to x and from initial condition 0 to x so this is how my L inverse will be and here the nonlinear term is y square and this is my initial conditions okay now applying say it one applying L inverse on equation number one which can be written as L inverse of since this is dy by dx and I said dy dx is L so it is in this notation it becomes L of y and minus L inverse of y square equal to 0 okay here it becomes since L inverse is this operator so in this operator form yes L inverse operator form integral form it becomes 0 to x and then here I have dy by dx and it is equal to L inverse of y square since derivative and integral are in reverse operator so it cancels out it only let y of x with condition from 0 to x upper lower limit and upper limit and everything on the right hand side will remain as it is and this becomes y of x minus f of 0 is equal to L inverse of y square and since y of 0 is given it is a given initial conditions from here I get y of x is equal to 1 plus L inverse of y square okay now I need to assume my solution let y is equal to summation from n 0 to infinity y of n and since I have a nonlinear term for this since n of y is y square so for this I need to assume that y here is n from 0 to infinity a n for nonlinear term I will take y as a dominant polynomial putting this in the equations it becomes plugging back everything into the last equation this becomes summation 
n from 0 to infinity y of n is equal to 1 plus l inverse of and here I will just take y which is summation n from 0 to infinity a of n. I don't need to put a square because I know the non term is, is just y square when I will calculate these adomin polynomials I will use this function here no need to put the square on it just represents non term. Okay, now using the iterative scheme I just solved I just uh, provided in the last page this will get the first value of this series y naught of x is the function g of x which here is only 1 and the for remaining term y n plus 1 will become l inverse of a n where n starting from 0 1 and 2 and so on. So this is my iterative scheme which I need to follow to get the remaining term of the assumed solutions. So here I need to find a n. What is a n? a n is the adamant polynomial which is equal to a n equal to 1 over n factorial d n by d lambda n and n of summation k from 0 to n y k and lambda to the power k and everything calculated at lambda is equal to 0. So when n is 0 the first dominant polynomial a naught will be 1 over 0 factorial and 0 derivative mean just no derivative and then n of summation k from 0 to n which is 0 to 0 and y k lambda k and uh, where it at lambda is equal to 0 and here my non-linear term n of y is basically y square. Okay, now this becomes since 0 factorial is 1, so this is 1 and now n of since the series starting from 0 to 0, so it has only one term which is k0, so plugging k0 it becomes y naught and lambda to the power of 0 becomes 1, so it has only y naught and since n of y is y square, so n of y naught becomes y naught square. Okay, now to get the a2, I need to plug in this formula n is equal to 1. So for n is equal to 1, this becomes a1 equal to 1 over 1 factorial d by d lambda n of summation which starting from 0 to 1 because n is 1 and y k lambda to the power k and evaluate at the lambda equal to 0. Okay, now this becomes 1 d by d lambda n of now this series have two terms k0 and k1 when k is 0 it becomes y0 and lambda to the power 0 which is 1 and then plus when k is 1 it is y1 into lambda and again at lambda equal to 0 and first I have to apply this n value since n of y is y square so n of these things becomes y0 plus y1 of lambda to the whole square because n of y is basically y square my non term and evaluated at lambda is equal to 0. First I will take the square so this becomes the first I have to I have to take this differentiate apply this derivative which is in, with respect to lambda so applying this derivative this becomes 2 take power down y0 plus y1 of lambda and then differentiating inside since I am differentiating with respect to lambda so y0 becomes 0 the derivative of lambda the, the derivative of y0 with respect to lambda is 0 and here I will get just y1 and at lambda is equal to 0 and when lambda is 0 it becomes 2 y0 and since here is lambda which will be 0 and from outside I have only y1 so in the last I will get 2 y0 into y1 this is my a1 okay in the similar fashion I can find a2 a3 so on let's find a2 which if you use the formula becomes 1 over 2 factorial d square by d lambda square and n of summation k from 0 to 2 y of k and lambda to the power k and evaluated at lambda is equal to 0 
and you can use the same procedure I did in the last two terms and you will get this value and you will get this value. Okay, now since in our iteration scheme here y0 is 1 which means the value of a0 which was y0 square is now just 1 square equal to 1. So y0 is 1 and a0 is 1. Now I need to find y2. For y2 I just need to plug n equal to 0 which becomes y of 1 equal to L inverse A0. So taking n, n is equal to 0 in the iterative schemes, I get y1 equal L inverse of A0. And L inverse of A0 since A0 is 1, so it is L inverse of 1. And what is L inverse? It is integral from 0 to x of this 1 d of x which becomes x from 0 to x and this is just x. So it means y1 is x. When n is 1 from the additive scheme it becomes y of 2 l inverse of a1 and what is a1 here my a1. Here is 2 y naught into y1 2 into y naught which is 1 and y1 which I just, I just, I just found which is x so here it is 2x. So it means L inverse of a1 which is 2x and what is L inverse is integral from 0 to x of 2x dx. This becomes x square from 0 to x which is just x square. And when n is equal to 2, I will get y3 equal to L inverse of a2 and L inverse of a2, this is my a2 which is 2 into y0 which is 1 and y2 which is x square my n plus y1 square what is y1 which is x so it's square so this comes 2x square plus x square it is 3x square so it is 3x square applying l inverse 0 to x integral 0 to x 3x square dx and integrating i will just get x cube so you can see that this is a pattern here I have a nice patterns. It means y4 will be just x4 and y5 will be just x to the power 5. So in this case, I have the assumed solution is written as y, which is y0 plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 and so on. y0 is 1, y1 is x and then x square and then x cube and then x4 and plus so on. And since this is a very known series, a geometric series, infinite geometric series, which can be sum equal to 1 over 1 minus x. So you can see that in this case, my exact solution, a dominant decomposition method, in this case, it turned an exact solution, which is, which satisfies a given differential equation. And we can check it just by solving it. The given differential equation is basically dy by dx equal y square and it can be written as dy by y square equal to dx integrating both sides i can get minus 1 over y equal x plus some constant c since initial condition is given y of 0 is 1 using this conditions is minus 1 over 1 0 plus c which c is negative 1 so this becomes minus 1 over y is equal to x minus 1 and solving it i just take y which is 1 over 1 minus x and you can see that it returned the same solution. Of course, for this particular differential equation, this method is quite easy and simple. But I just took this example for the sake of explaining the method. Of course, this method is very useful and it can solve many differential equations, not only ordinary but partial differential equations, which are not solved by some other elementary method. So in the coming video, I will take one partial differential equation and I will solve that equation by just this method, Roman decomposing method. Thank you for watching.